Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror, I kind of want to go over some of the found footage films that I have in my collection that I think are good watches. Um, I really do love found footage films. There's been some really good ones. There's been some not so good ones. So I kind of just want to showcase the ones that I enjoy watching. Um, first up, of course, the queen or king of found footage is the Blair Witch Project. Um, I remember when this came out, how many people actually thought that this was something that was really happening and that had happened. Um, but the way that they, they, the way that they found this, the way that they filmed this found footage film um, was very well done. And that's kind of how the genre kind of grew is from this film. Um, I remember seeing it and really anticipating what was going to happen, what was going to happen. The story was really creepy and eerie. I was a little bit let down toward the end of it, but it was still one of those good movies that I would definitely recommend you checking out. Another good one that I've enjoyed visiting before is The Visit. Um, I know a lot of people do not like this film, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was really creepy, and I love the style of it. If you've never seen The Visit, check it out. Another great film that I enjoy is As Above, So Below. Um, this right here, as you can tell from some of the um, screen um, screen captures, is a film underneath the city, and it's in dark tunnels, and it's just a lot of darkness. So when you do get a glimpse of light on something, it's really kind of scary and eerie. If you've never seen this film, definitely check it out. A film that was done during the pandemic is called Host, and this right here was more of a found footage film that I really enjoyed watching. That's a really short watch. I think it's just around 84 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, or even shorter than that. But um, it's like something that happens on a Zoom call. And just a really good story. If you've never seen this one, definitely check it out. One of my least favorite found footage films, but I still found it to be entertaining and creepy, is The Gallows. I don't know if you've ever seen this one before. It's got a young cast in it. Kind of a weird story, but creepy enough that I really enjoyed it. Another one that I enjoyed a little bit because it, it started out really good and then it kind of fell, fell to pieces at the end, but that is Mr. Jones. It was creepy enough that I really did enjoy it. I would definitely recommend you at least check it out one time. If, if, if you do, I think you'll enjoy it also. Um, and one of my favorite found footage franchises is Paranormal Activity. I really do enjoy these films, especially the first three and the way that they all tie together. I know a lot of people do not like these films because they feel like they're kind of boring and slow. Um, and they are. They're slow. But I still appreciated them and I still enjoy them. Um, I know we've got six films here, which includes The Ghost Dimension. And we also have the Marked Ones. And we have Paranormal Activity 4. And then I also have the 3 pack. But I definitely enjoy these films, especially these first three. And we do have a nice box set coming out that I hope I'm able to add to the collection. And then there's a couple of found footage films that are creepy, but they're more on the sci-fi level. And first up of those would be Cloverfield. I think Cloverfield was very Cloverfield was very well done. I, I've always enjoyed this one, and so I, I wanted that to be a part of my list. And then lastly, we have Phoenix Forgotten, which I think is really creepy um, about alien abduction and the darkness being outside. I think it was very well done. If you've never seen this one, definitely check it out. But those are my found footage films that I really enjoy that I have in my collection. Please let me know what you think about my selection. And then also give me some suggestions of some found footage films that you think I should check out. Because I really do enjoy your, your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.